UFC Fight Night in UFC Vegas 64. Rodriguez versus Lemos takes place this weekend. And I'm going to go through the full card breakdown and in detail predictions. Sorry that I have, um, sorry that I'm posting this late, but I was trick-or-treating Halloween. And, um, yeah, it's the 31st today. Starting with the early prelim opener of, um, Ramona Pascal versus uh, Tamir's Vidal. I'm going to be going for Tamir's Vidal here. Um, or what's her name? Tamir's Vidal. Uh, uh, Vidal. I think she's going to get this one done. I think Ramona Pascal's good. Um, not really, honestly. Like, she's not that good. I mean, she looked all right early on against, uh, Jocelyn Edwards. And we've seen Edwards is looking good herself just recently. But, um, she got completely outclassed with some oblique kicks in that fight and some kicks. Was just ain't out kicked by Edwards in the last two rounds. And Joe jo Cian Nunes kind of beat her up for three rounds as well. I just, two good opponents, I understand, but she just isn't good. She's fought cans. Two and O's, all right. Four and five. Oh and O oh and O. Oh. oh and O oh and O. Oh. Oh and two. Lost to a two and two opponent. Lost to two. Oh no, she lost to a two and zero opponent, but she just fought cans over her career. I just don't trust her winning this one. I'm gonna go for Tamir's Vidal getting this one done. She's twenty four years old compared to the thirty four year old and um, Ramona Pascal, and I think she'll use the grappling to win this one. And she beat Aylin Perez, who's in the UFC, but um, but Perez was landing illegal knees, and she lost to Carol Rosa. But she's also fought cans, but she's up four and one, five and one, five and oh, three and oh. And Carol Rosa is only or her is her only loss. Tamir's Vidal, I think, gets this one done. Um yeah. Moving on up the card to another fight. To the real fight, so then that shit show. Jake Hadley versus Carlos Candelario. Um Yeah, Jake Hadley. I'm gonna go Jake Hadley here. Um yeah, this is a no-brainer in my opinion. Jake Hadley, I think, gets this one done. You have to go Jake Hadley. I, I like Carlos Candelario, and I think Candelario's all right, but he lost to Victor Altamirano on the Contender Series. Close fight, but Altamirano won that one. But Tatsuro Tyra just got controlled him, you know, and he just isn't really good in any way. Like, he beat four... Like, he went to a split decision with Victor Altamirano, but Altamirano should have won. And he did win that. And beat 6 and 0, 1 and 2. Like, he's beat Cans as well. Like, I don't trust him. He's 31 compared to, I think, like, the 28 in Jake Hadley. 26. And the White Kong, uh, Jake Hadley's here. Lost to Alan Nascimento. But let's be real. Like, again, Alan Nascimento. Um, Alan Nascimento is a great fighter and a white bully for the division. And Jake Hadley couldn't really do much. You could say the same thing for Candelario, but Hadley tried going for stuff. Elma Plata's early, but man, Nascimento is a really dark horse in that division. And I just see him. I just think Jake Hadley's going to go out there and win. He beat Mitch Proposo on the Contender Series. Luke Shanks as well at Cage Warriors. Uh, Blaine O'Driscoll. Um, I just think he's going to go out there and get a first round submission, rear neck choke over Candel uh, Carlos Candelario. What are the odds? I think he's a big favorite here as well. Yeah, minus two seventy five. I'm gonna be going for Jake Hadley. Moving on up the card, Johnny Munoz Jr. versus Ludovic Shalinian. I'm gonna be going with uh, Johnny Munoz Jr. In my opinion here, I think he's gonna get the one. I get the win here over Ludovic Shalinian. Yeah, Johnny Munoz Jr. I think it's this one done. I mean, he lost to Tony Gravely, and I know Gravely just lost to Javid Basharat. But great, he got caught, you know. Didn't show a great chin at all, but he got caught out of nowhere. Things happen, you know. And it was a weird one there against Nate Maness. But Nate Maness is no joke in that division as well. I just... <sighs> he beat Jamie Simmons. But it's Jamie Simmons. I'm going to pick him to beat Shalinian because I think Shalinian Simmons is level. Because Shalinian ain't good at all. Like, he's 32... Um, he got destroyed by Jack Shore over three rounds. Imagine what Nathaniel Wood would have done to him. Imagine what Nathaniel Wood would have done to him. Just imagine. What would he have done to him? 
So then he had good job for worth a drawing from that fight because he would have got destroyed. And he lost to Ricky Tercios at uh, Ultimate Fighter. Beat Mitch Raposo, but I just think Munoz Jr. will just grapple with him here. I think he'll use some grappling, and I think he'll get the job done. He's 29 years old, and if it's on the feet, I can see him. I think he has a reach advantage here as well. He's shorter, but same reach. So on the feet, maybe Shalini has something, but the grappling, I think he'll just out control in a boring fight. Johnny Munoz Jr. wins with the grappling. Moving on. Up the card to Jin Yu Frey versus Poliana Viana. I'm gonna be going with um Jin Yu Frey, I think, here. I think I'm gonna go Jin Yu Frey here, I think. I think, though. I'm gonna go Jin Yu Frey. I think she wins it here. I just don't think Viana's good, man. I get it. Like, she's attractive, but she's just not good at fighting, is she? Like, she beat Mallory Martin and Emily uh, Emily Whitmire. Both girls who aren't good in any way whatsoever. Like, she just isn't that good. And I think early on in her career, like, her last one against Tabitha Ricci, just got kicked. And she, and she was just a bit dumb in that fight. Just staying on her back, getting leg kicked to the thigh. Or leg kick to the ki- uh, to the calf by Tabitha Ricci off fight. And that's how Ricci won. I just think she's going to lose this one. Like, she lost to Veronica Macedo, Anna Cyphers, which she arguably won. But still, stop making it close with Hannah Cyphers. You know? Like, that ain't a good sign. And then she be um, she lost to JJ Aldrich. And I just don't trust her winning this one, man. I just think Jin Frey will be too much. And uh, I'm going to go Jin Frey winning this one. Um, Jin Frey law should have won against Vanessa Demopoulos, in my opinion. Should have won that fight. But she beat Ashley Yoder, Gloria DePaula. Uh, lost to Lima Look, Boom, and Kay Anson, which aren't good. But she, she, she's good. I'm going to trust her to win this one. She could get sub though. But I think she'll win on the feet and just outstrike. What's his name on? What's, uh, I think she'll just outstrike, um, um, Vienna at range. She's 37, but I think she'll win it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick her to win this one. Moving on up the card. Let's move on from this crap. Mario Bautista versus Benito Lopez. Uh, Mario Bautista winning this one. This is a shit card, man. Jeez, man. I hate these cards. Can't wait for MSG 281 on Asanya Pereira. I can't wait for that card. We just gotta get through this crap. But um, yeah, um, Bautista I think wins this. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen Benito Lopez in so long. Twenty eight years old. Dude just wasted three good years. Like he was twenty five years old in his last fight. Now he's twenty eight. So dude just wasted everything. But yeah, um. I forgot what this guy fought like. I don't even know. I haven't watched his fights. Um, But yeah, I, I'm going to go Bautista though. Catching him early with a big shot. I'll say as well. I think Benito Lopez will go out there and um, get KO'd early. Like I've been looking at Bautista's recent performances. Like Jay Perrin. Good performance there, man. We just seen Perrin's looking good now. Like Perrin's not fighting that 17-year-old. 17, 17 Raul Rosas Jr., He's fighting him now and made a close fight against Aeroi Quileng. And that was a good performance there from um, from Bautista. Shut him down for three rounds. I just think he's very impressive and, like, like what's it called? He beat Brian Kelleher as well. Like, he's been staying active. I think he's going to beat Benito Lopez um, and get the, one, get the job done here. And let's be real. He beats Trevin Jones in a rematch. I think Jones just flukely KO'd him. And I think Benito Lopez beat Vince Morales, but lost to Manny Bermudez. So I'm going to go Bautista uh, cracking him early and putting him out. But if he needs to, I think he can use some grappling. So I'm going to go for Bautista winning this one. I think I'm going to trust him. 29 years old as well. Uh, Moving on um, to another fight on the card, which is Miranda Maverick versus Shayna Young. Um, Miranda Maverick, no-brainer here, in my opinion. I think Miranda Maverick gets this one done. I think Shayna Young's good. Um, 
But Maverick's good, man. Maverick's very good. I mean, she beat Sabina Mazzo in that fight. Um, beat Sabina Mazzo. And she dominated Mazzo, let's be real, in that fight. Um, she did get outgrappled by Blanchfield. And that isn't a good look. And she kind of got dominated in that fight. But Blanchfield's really good. Blanchfield's now fighting Molly McCann um, at, um, at MSG. <laughs> but I think she'll win this, in my opinion. Um, she should have won against Barber. That was one of the worst robberies I've seen in a very long time. She beat Robertson. She beat Jojo. She's going to beat Shayna Young. Plus, Young, they were supposed to fight at UFC 278. Usman Edwards, too. Back in August. So, she must have really got injured. Hospital, hospitalized during weight cut. Yeah. She's not... This is just going to... just like This is just going to go against her as well. Yeah, I think you have to go with them, with Miranda Maverick. I think she'll get it done. And she beat, she didn't beat Gina Mazzani, but Gina Mazzani's a freaking trash fighter. And she lost to Edgar, Chasson. On the feet, this favors Maverick. On the ground, I think she'll favor her as well. And I think she'll use a grappling to just make Shana, to make Shana Young quit. So Rene really could choke for, uh, for Miranda Maverick. I think she gets it. Moving on up the card. What? Jeez, this card is so long. Derek Minner versus Shai Yelan Nurdenbeke. I'm going to be going with Shai Yelan Nurdenbeke here. I just don't think Derek Minner is that good. I don't think he's good at all. I mean, he has been looking terrible lately. I mean, he hasn't fought in like a year. Um, He was supposed to fight Damon Jackson. And that would have been interesting, but I just think... I just don't see him winning this. I don't. Like, he lost to Ryan Hall, you know? Got... He just got... Like, got out grappled in that fight. You know? By Ryan Hall. Like, is, which isn't a good look. Like, I just don't see him winning this. Like, he lost to Darren Elkins. Gassed out against Darren Elkins. But then there's the fights he looks really good against Charles Rosa and TJ Laramie. You know? And again, it's Grant Dawson. Like, like he's a weird one. Like, he lost Grant Dawson. But beats Terrence McKinney by triangle choke. And loses to uh, Herbert Burns by triangle choke. Like, he's a bit of a weird one now. Lost to Kevin Kroom. Beat Clay Collard. Like, it's a bit of a weird one with um with uh, Derek Minner. But I just think Shai Yelan Nurdenbeke is good enough to win. He's 28. He's good. Um, he beat TJ Brown in that last one. Same with Sean Soriano. Went to a decision with Joshua Kalibau. Um, and Josh Kalibau, Joshua Kalibau is very good. We saw that against Sung Lee Choi. He's kind of a prospect now himself. I'm going to try to land Beke later on. Maybe he has some trouble early. But I think early. I think later on he'll get, get it done with like a 29-27 decision. Moving on up the card to the main card. <laughs> Let me clear my nose real quick. Um, <clears throat> Mark Madsen versus Grant Dawson. Um, I was back and forth on this one. I mean, I wasn't back and forth. But I don't. I didn't know who to pick on this one. But I'm gonna go Grant Dawson. I think. I don't think Mark Madsen's good, man. I don't think he's good at all. I don't even think he's good at all. Like he's not good. Like, I think he lost to Vince Bakel. Honestly, if I'm being honest here, I think on damage, Pakel should have won that fight. And I think, I think, I forgot about that fight, but I don't think he's good, man. Like, he makes it close against Guida, wins, but he should have lost to Vince Pakel, in my opinion. I think on damage, Pakel should have won that fight. Um, But he beats Austin Hubbard. Like, I think someone's going to really badly expose him. I think Dawson's that guy. Like, I think Dawson's good. But I think he's trying to improve a little bit now. Like, you can see before he was, like, against, like, like you saw he was, like, a huge contender coming up. Beat Mike Trezano, beat Derek Minner, beat Nan Aramani, beat Santos. But a competitive fight there, but he beat Santos. Then against Ricky Glenn, like, he struggled hard in that fight. He struggled a lot in that fight. Um, I think, I mean, what was it? I think... I think it was a draw. It was a draw against Ricky Glenn. But I think Glenn got a 10-8 round. But Dawson got two 10-9s. I think. But um, he beat Jared Gordon. 
And we've seen Gordon now it's fighting Paddy Pimlet. And if Pimlet's going to take it to the ground, we'll look at this. We'll look at Grant Dawson submitting him and taking his back. But yeah, I have to go with them. I'm going to have to go for. Um, what's his name? I'm going to have to go Grant Dawson. He's making the improvements so now. Third round submission there. He's training with Kraus as well. And Moreno as well. Moreno as well. 28 years old. On the feet, I think this favors him massively. But I think on the ground, he can get it. Mark Madsen's complete garbage. I don't even think he's that good. I'm going to go Dawson just out striking him. 29-28 decision win. Beating Mark Madsen, who is 38 years old. Why is he in here? And Dawson's 28. Dawson wins. Moving on. Tagir Lumbekov versus Nate Maness. I'm going to go Tagir. I think Tagir will win this one. Um... I didn't think he was that good before. I mean, I don't think he was good before. I think now he's starting to... I think he's going to make those improvements now. I think before he was quite shit. Let's be real. I think he was quite utter shit before. He should have lost to Alan Ascomento on damage in that fight. But I think against Elliot, it was a bit of a wake-up call. Like, before he was quite shit. Oh, he lost to Elliot. I know Elliot was cheating in that fight, but Elliot's a veteran. He cheats, he's dirty here and there, a bit of a dirty fighter. I think now he's going to make those improvements after a loss. And I think I'm going to have to go with um, Tagir winning this one over Nate Maness. He was supposed to fight Tyson Nam and Mateus Nicolau twice. Um, but I'm going to pick Nate Maness winning this one. Oh, no, I'm going to pick Tagir winning this one. And Maness got destroyed by Omar over three rounds. And you can, you're can you probably shocked that he lasted a, lasted a decision. Dude... Dude did nothing. Listen to this. Dude didn't even try to win. He just tried to survive. And he did. And he beat Gravely, Sanders. And he could catch Ulenbekov. I mean, Elliot caught Ulenbekov early on the gym. But I think Ulenbekov will use the grappling and get the job done here. And also, Tagir can crack him on the gym as well. And Taylor Lapulis beat him. Yeah, I'm going to be going for Tagir. 30-27 decision win. Moving on. Up the card. Josh Parisian versus Chase Sherman. I'm going to go Chase Sherman over Josh Parisian. I think Parisian's... I think he's shit, man. I don't even think he's that good. I think he sh- he lost to Parker Porter. Should have lost to Rook Martinez. Um, should He lost to Dante Mays. Got destroyed. Be Alan Bedell because Bogo gassed out and he's also quite shit. And he's fighting Sherman. I think it's like win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. I'm going to go chase Sherman, adding another loss to the record uh, there. Um, I like Chase Sherman. I like Chase Sherman, man. I think he's good. I don't know why I said it like that. I think he's good. He beat Jared Vandera. I know that's not the best of wins, but Vandera arguably won against that contender, Waldo Cortez Acosta. You know? Should have won that fight. He actually should have won that. And lost to Romanov, who's good. Collier. We find we find out these guys aren't the greatest. But uh, Parker Porter, all right. Andre Arlovsky's Andre Arlovsky. You know? Like, maybe EK Villanueva. Like, he wins some fights here and there. Be a fight, be a K- BKFC. I think he'll win this one. 29-28 decision. Maybe Parisian has a good first round, but I think last two, Sherman's going to start looking good. I'm going to go 29-28 decision for Chase Sherman winning this one. People agree with me here as well, I think. Oh, people are picking Parisian. Fucking bums. Moving on up the card to the Coleman event. Neil Magny versus Daniel Rodriguez. The people's main event. Um, I'm actually going Neil Magny here, man. I actually didn't make a prediction for this, but I'm actually going Neil Magny as an underdog, I think, here. I think he's the underdog. Um, no, D-Rod's actually the underdog. It's a close fight. Um, whatever, Magny's the favorite, but I'm going Magny. I know a lot of people online are picking D-Rod, but, man, I think Magny gets this. I think he has more stuff here to win. I think he has more options here to win, and I like options in fights this close. I don't think D-Rod won against Lee, man. I don't think he won that fight at all. I think he lost that fight. I think he lost that fight. If I'm honest with you guys, I think he lost that. I think D-Rod lost that fight. I I really do believe he did. 
Lee should have won that with the bigger shots and the harder shots, and he stunned D-Rod at one point. Magni, I know different styles to beat Lee. Um, Magni outgrappled Lee and dominated him. For three rounds. Destroyed him. You know? And maybe you'll say, like, oh, look what Chmaev did, though. But we're not... Chmaev can screw off for this fight. We're not talking about him. But, man, he actually should have won that. Um, uh, he, uh, Magni, uh, Magni dominated Li Jingliang. And Li should have won that fight against, uh, what's his name? Daniel Rodriguez. I just don't trust Rodriguez, man. Against Dalby, even. Close fight. But at range, Magni has weird range. And I think he'll use some range here to get it done over D-Rod. Unless D-Rod explodes early and tries going for an early finish. And that could work. But outside of that, if he doesn't get a first round TKO early. I'm picking. I am picking Magni to outrange him. And even then, D-Rod is grappling against Lee. Lee, if, if Lee had a brain, Lee wins that fight. In my opinion. I think Magni has good grappling if he needs to use it. And I know he should have arguably lost to Max Griffin. Um, but Max Griffin's always in there. Max Griffin arguably won against Tim Meatons last, uh, last weekend. And he did win the fight. Um, but Shavkat beat him. But Shavkat's just good, in my opinion. No shame in losing to him. And he beat Jeff Neal, who's looking good. Like, he beats the Lawler for grappling. Beats Anthony Rocco Martin. Close fight, but he won it. I'm picking him to win here. It's not like D-Rod. I think D-Rod has to worry about the range of Magni and the grappling. All D all Magni has to worry about is just getting clipped out of nowhere. D-Rod ain't going to out-grapple him. D-Rod. Yeah, he has to beat him. I'm, bo I'm going with Magni, man. Both 35, but huge reach advantage for... Six-inch reach advantage for Magni to work with here against D-Rod. I'm picking Magni. I'm picking Neil Magni to win this. 6-3 to 6-1. I think Magni gets this one done. We'll see, though. Moving on up the card to the main event. Marina Rodriguez versus Amanda Lemos as the main event. <sighs> one more week. I'm picking... Um, I'm going to be going with uh, Marina Rodriguez, though. Over Amanda Lemos. Yeah, you have to go Rodriguez, I think. You have to go Marina Rodriguez. Yeah. Lemos is good. And of course, she's like a threat to the top and a threat to Marina Rodriguez in this fight. But if you look at the age, all right, 35 35 for each of them. Um, six, 65 inch reach for both of them. Six, um, six, uh, five, six for Rodriguez. Five, four for Lemos. So Rodriguez will be two inches taller. I just think Rodriguez has more tools, if you can, if I can say that correctly. Like, I think she has more tools here. Yeah, she arguably lost to Yan Zhao Nan, and, and, should have, and she should have lost that fight to Yan Zhao Nan, in my opinion. I think she lost that fight. But she's she's very good, Marina Rodriguez. Like She schools Mackenzie Dern for, three round, for, for five rounds. Schools her, easily. Schools Michelle Watterson, easily. You know, and uh, knocks out Amanda Hebos twice in that fight. Let's be real. But against Carlos Barza, like, Rodriguez is a threat to these girls. And she, I think she takes out the whole division. Let's be real. I think in a rematch, she can beat Yan Zhao Nan. But even then, that was a close fight. That can go either way. It's not like Yan clearly won. Close, close, razor close fight. I think she can beat, like, everyone. I think she beats Carla in a rematch. I'll take that now. I think she beats Carla by KO in a rematch. Only person I think beats her is Zhang with the grappling and the and the threat on the feet. And yeah, um, yeah, Esparza fight was close though. She was looking good, but Esparza barely won that fight. Barely. She's lucky to get that. I think she won it barely. But back then, damage wasn't a whole thing back in twenty twenty. But still. If that if it was fully damage, she freaking loses that, or if she wins that fight, very close fight there. I just don't see her winning this though. So. I just don't no. I just don't see Amanda Lemos winning this. I just think Lemos will be too. Uh, I think like she beat Michelle Watterson, 
But then again, Watterson was arguably winning against her. I don't think she was. I think on damage, Lamos was winning and eventually got the guillotine. But with someone with power to give back at Lemos, Lemos kind of fails. Against Andrade, let's be real, she was shitting herself in that fight against Andrade. Andrade punched her against the cage. A standing arm triangle she got. Put down Lemos. And I think at this point, Rodriguez is the new Andrade. Power early. Big power. I think she would KO Andrade if they fought. And yeah, Angela Hill arguably won as well. Like... She beats Montserrat Ruiz, Lavinia, Hanata, Souza. I just don't see her winning this, though. I'm going Marine Rodriguez here. In a decision, I don't think it'll be any KO here. I think it'll be back and forth. Rodriguez wins some rounds on knockdowns off balance, but it still counts. She wins round one. She wins round two. Close round three, Will Lemos is doing all right. Round four is Rodriguez. Round five is Rodriguez. 4-1, 49 46. Marina Rodriguez gets the winner of uh, Carlos Barza versus Zhang Wei Li. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this. The full card predictions for UFC Fight Night and UFC Vegas 64. Rodriguez versus Lemos. And yeah, peace.